A lot of agents really fear AEP for one simple fact, and that is the fear of losing a lot of their clients through a seven and a half week process that is AEP, the annual election period. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly a couple of different ways that we at CBIS retain our clients and how we do it through great customer experience all year round. This video is brought to you by Intruity, one of the best insurance CRMs on the market today. Are you tired of losing valuable clients and struggling with retention rates? Well, worry no more because Intruity presents one link, your ultimate solution for client relationships. Managing clients and retention has never been easier. One link can automate your workflow with emails, texts, and call campaigns, which makes staying in touch with your customers at the right time, such as birthdays, holidays, and renewals, simple and effective. Add drip campaigns for multiple touches throughout the year, and you have easy ongoing communication automatically. Try OneLink free today and experience additional features such as built-in lead management and their predictive dialer. With a push of a button, Truity's predictive dialer can automate and increase your call efficiency. With voicemail drops, follow-ups, and emails. Take the first steps with building lasting relationships and growing your business the smart way with OneLink. Thanks again to Intruity for bringing us OneLink, the key to your business's success. Try it free today to see what you've been missing out. Link can be found down in the description. So you're concerned about losing a lot of your clients during AEP. It's a natural concern. Advertising is at an all-time high. There's commercials going everywhere. There's billboards. There's phone calls being made probably 10, 15, 20 a day illegally to your clients on a day-to-day -day basis. They're filling out Facebook forms. They don't even know what they're filling out. They're getting called. People are trying to take your business. So how do you combat it? In my opinion, the number one strategy to keep your clients on the books is this. Provide great quality service all year round. Now, if you haven't done that this year, there's always next year to kind of remedy some of those missed opportunities. We're gonna talk about some things you can do now, but we need to have this conversation because it can't be overstated that providing great service, being available, making sure that you are providing consistent communication to your clients throughout the year is a helpful thing. Now, I've talked to agents that have four, five, 600 clients that they say, oh, I pick up the phone and I call them every three months and I check on the status. That's crazy talk right now, okay? That to me is wasted effort, wasted energy. You don't have to do that once a quarter. What you do in terms of communication is you do the normal things that everybody talks about, right? You send out thank you letters, you send out Christmas cards, you send out birthday cards, all of those things. But in addition to that, provide elements of their plan throughout the year. So for example, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan and that Medicare Advantage plan has a over-the-counter item benefit, let's say, maybe it's 50 bucks a quarter, 70 bucks a quarter, 80 bucks a quarter, get a PDF copy of that plan's OTC catalog, go in and build an email in your CRM and send every client that has that exact plan, the OTC catalog, remind them that they have their benefit, give them instructions on how they can order with that particular plan and send it out to them. Do that once every couple of months and then do it with a different area of their plan and remind them of the different benefits they have. That kind of reminders on how they can best utilize their plan, that type of reminders on different benefits they have that they might forget that they have is actually a great way to retain your clients. It does two things for me. One, they appreciate the accommodation. They appreciate the reminder. They feel like you're out there watching out for their best interest, number one. Number two, it reminds them who you are. It keeps you top of mind. It's less easy for them to forget about you come AEP. In addition to that, of course, you wanna be providing great customer service, returning their phone calls in a very, very timely manner, answering their questions, making sure that you are helping them fix claims and billing issues and things like that. But the, that type of year-round squeak, squeaky wheel mentality of that retention is very, very valuable. And it's very, very important in the process, okay? Now, let's kind of fast forward up to AEP what are some things you can do during AEP to keep your clients in the books? Well, I've talked about this before about what we do at CBIS on our Medicare Advantage plans in particular. 
our our staff, our team internally. And before there was anyone other than just me, I used to do this myself as an individual broker. We actually pick up the phone. I write out scripts of every Medicare Advantage plan on you know different bullet points they need to hit on things that are changing. We send out emails on the 1st of October, basically letting them know bullet points of their plan changes. We, we send over their ANOCs and things like that. That helps a lot. We get a lot of people that look at their emails. They'll email us back and ask us a few questions. They'll say, I'm, I think I'm good for next year. Thank you for the information. And people that we can't reach that way, our team internally will take lists of clients on particular plans. Maybe it's this insurance company's PPO, this insurance company's HMO. And they'll take the script that matches the email that was sent and they'll make outbound calls throughout the first two or three weeks of AEP. And they'll go over plan changes. If they need to change their plan, they're not happy with it for next year, they need to rerun the drug comparison, whatever the case might be, the person that's on the phone will rerun the drug comparison and they'll schedule an appointment with their writing agent. Okay. And then their writing agent will be able to rewrite their plan after the 15th. Okay. So this outbound call thing in, in AEP, in, in pre-AEP, by the time you watch this, it'll actually be past pre-AEP. So it's a little too late to do it this AEP if you haven't already in pre-AEP. But in future years, this is a great strategy that we've been doing for many, many years. And it's a big reason why we have, depending on the year, we have somewhere between a 93 to 96% retention rate at CBIS for our, in our clients, okay? So making those outbound calls is very, very vital. Another thing that you should be doing if you write a new client during AEP, or maybe even if you rewrite an old client during AEP, if you have somebody in your office, they can do this. Or if you don't, it's worth doing it yourself. Set a reminder for about three weeks after you've done the application, call them and make sure they got their welcome kit and their card. Just do it because it's, it lets them know that you're, you didn't forget about them. It lets them know that, that you're watching out for them, that you didn't forget about them, that they are reminded of who you are and they can try, kind of trust that you actually care that they are getting taken care of. That is a very, very powerful thing to do. And that increases retention rate a lot. You should do that all year round. Anytime you write a new client, you should have either you or somebody from your organization make an outbound call to that client two, three weeks out, see if they got their welcome kit yet, see if they got their card yet. Even if they haven't got it quite yet, it reminds them who you are, especially if it's a new client that doesn't have a long history with you, right? It's easy to forget the salesperson that sold them a plan. So following up will provide that increased level of retention. Now, they might even have some questions that have come up and they didn't even think to ask you the first time. It gives you the opportunity to answer their questions, put any concerns they have at ease. And this kind of stuff, this kind of process internally will help with your retention significantly. The other thing that you should be doing is we send out email communications throughout AEP. So I did a video on our other channel, our consumer-based channel, Christian Bruno Insurance Services channel, on explaining the donut hole for 2024. Well, guess what? We sent that video out to all of our Medicare clients to just help them understand what the donut hole was going to look like for next year. We had such a positive result, such positive feedback from our clients on that video. They just felt like it was so easy to understand. They finally get it. They understand it. And they appreciated to kind of know that information. So we send out email communications every couple of weeks, I would say, during AEP to kind of just let them know that we're there, remind them that we're there. Remember, one of the biggest reasons why a client might leave you, in my opinion, there's there's two. One, maybe you're dealing with a client that has memory issues. We are dealing with seniors after all, right? But two, they forget about you, right? If they're not constantly reminded of who you are, it's very easy for them to forget who you are. And then at that point, anybody can just step in, fill your shoes in their eyes. You're just an insurance salesman. You're a dime a dozen. But if they remember you and they're reminded about you and their reminders of you are brought through communications and touch points of help and value that you're bringing into their lives and making something easier and answering a question and just helping them overall, they will then go from associating you as an insurance salesman to their agent. And there's a big, big difference of loyalty that comes with them looking at you as their agent versus an insurance salesman. So these are some tactics. These are some tricks and little, you know, hacks that you can use 
to keep your clients on the books throughout AEP. It's worked incredibly well for us. It is a year-round thing. It's a combination of things you do year-round in the off-season. It's a combination of things you do throughout AEP. But when you put these pieces of the puzzle together, it will help your client retention significantly. And if you're losing a lot of clients right now, these are some things you can do to stop that from happening. Anyway, guys, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you like this video and you found it helpful, informational, do me a favor, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's gonna help so many more agents just like you find this information who need to see it and they need to see it desperately. So help somebody today by liking the video. Comment your thoughts down below. What are some things I missed? Are there any client retention tips that you've came across that have helped you keep members in your book of business longer? Make sure to subscribe. We put out videos routinely every single week to help you out in your business and we don't charge anything for it except for a little bit of your time. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Here's to having a successful AEP. Here's to having a successful end of 2023, entering 2024. And here's to your success and your abundance.